So this is just a small little piece. I've been writing a series of stories uh, about uh, infidelity. Have you tried any of you writing in the second person? It's an extremely narrow and limited form, but it's, it's like really good for revealing your strengths, but mostly your weaknesses. All right, so it goes like this. It's called Alma. You, Junior, have a girlfriend named Alma who has a long, tender horse neck and a big Dominican ass that seems to exist in a fourth dimension beyond jeans. <laughs> An ass that could drag the moon out of orbit. An ass she never liked before she met you. There isn't a day that passes that you don't want to press your face against that ass or bite the delicate sliding tendons of her neck. You love how she shivers when you bite her, how she fights you with those arms that are so skinny they belong on an after-school special. <laughs> Alma is a Mason Gross student, one of those sonic youth comic book reading alternatinas without whom you might never have lost your virginity. <laughs> she grew up in Hoboken, part of the Boricua community that got its ass burnt out in the 80s, tenements turning to flame. She spent nearly every teenage day on the Lower East Side, thought that that would be her home, but then both NYU and Columbia said no to her, and she ended up farther from the city than ever before. Alma is in a painting phase, and the people she paints are all the color of mold, look like they have been just dredged from the bottom of a lake. Her last painting was of you slouching against the front door, only your frowning I had a lousy third world childhood and all I got was this attitude, eyes recognizable. <laughs> she did give you one huge forearm though. I told you, she said, I would get the muscles in. The past couple of weeks, now that the warm is here, Alma has abandoned the black and started wearing these nothing dresses made out of what feels like tissue paper. Wouldn't take more than a strong wind to undress her. Says she does it for you. And when you see her on the street, flaunting, flaunting, you know exactly what every nigger's thinking as they walk by because you are thinking it too. Alma is slender as a reed. You are a steroid addicted block. Alma loves driving. You love books. Alma owns a Saturn. You have no points on your license. <laughs> Alma's nails are too dirty for cooking. Your spaghetti con pollo is the best in the land. <laughs> you are so very different. Alma rolls her eyes every time you turn on the news, says she can't stand politics, and calls herself Hispanic. But it is an opposite attracts sort of thing. It is a great sex sort of thing. It is a no thinking sort of thing. You brag to your boys that she has more albums than any of them and that she says terrible white girl things while you fuck. She's more adventurous in bed than any of the other girls you've ever had. On her first date, she asked you if you wanted to come on her tits or her face and maybe during boy training, you did not get one of the memos because you were like, mm, neither? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a what the hell are we doing sort of thing. It's wonderful, wonderful, until one June day, Alma discovers that you are also fucking this beautiful freshman girl named Lakshmi. Discovers the fucking of Lakshmi because she, Alma, your girlfriend, opens up your journal and reads. Afterwards, she waits for you on the stoop, and when you pull up in her Saturn, and notice your journal in her hand, your heart plunges through you like a fat bandit through a hangman's trap. You take your time turning off the car. You are overwhelmed with pelagic sadness. Sadness at being caught, at the incontrovertible knowledge that Alma will never forgive you. You stare at her incredible legs and between them to that even more incredible popola that you have loved so inconstantly these last two years. Only when Alma starts walking over in anger do you finally get out. You dance across the lawn, powered by the last fumes of your outrageous sinvergüenceria. Hi, muñeca, you say, prevaricating to the end. When you, she starts shrieking at you, 
you say, darling, whatever is the matter? <laughs> she calls you a cocksucker, a punk motherfucker, and a fake ass Dominican. <laughs> and she claims you have a little penis, no penis, and worst of all, that you like curried pussy. Which really is unfair, you try to explain, since Lakshmi is from Guyana, but Alma is not listening. <laughs> Instead of lowering your head and copping to it like a man, you pick up the journal as one might hold a baby's beshattered diaper, as one might pinch a recently benutted condom, and you glance at the offending pages. Then you look at Alma and smile a smile your dissembling face will remember until the day you die. Baby, you say, baby, this is part of my novel. <laughs> and, and this is how you lose her. Thank you.